What is up guys, Joe Holland here, back at you from the hard water. I have a really special treat for you for this trip. I brought the one and only, one of my greatest mentors ever in the outdoor and in life in general, Mr. Donnie Johnston. There he is. What do you think, bud? I think we, we picked a great spot, we picked a great day. After this past weekend when it was sub-zero weather, Today, I would say right now, we're standing here in the sun. It must be at least 30, over 32 degrees. Feels like And it. no wind right now. Uh, we're about ready to unpack the sled. We had a little trouble getting in with <laughs> such a heavy load. <laughs> I got this thing freighted right to the gills. And the pin popped off a couple times and drove this hitch right into the ground. And when it did, it bent the hitch all to heck So, from the sled. So I'll be getting a new hitch and definitely going a little bit lighter loads when I'm trail riding in. I thought I could get it all in one, but not a good idea to do that. Not a good idea. No, it's easy enough to, to no. do too. So, But we're here. We're going to get set up. We're really excited to use the new wood stove in the shack. Donnie built an awesome window jack for that. So we're gonna set up camp today, and if we get some lines in the water, we'll be happy for that. This trip, we're fishing pike, we're fishing crappie, we're fishing yellow perch. So Donnie's never caught a pike. I'm really excited to get him a pike. I've never, and... never pike fish in my life. So this will be a, a special treat, and uh, Joe's gotta rig up some steel leader for me, and, and we're gonna give that a whirl. And we picked a great level spot here. No, hardly about an inch of snow on the ice. So very little shoveling to set up camp. And so this is gonna be wonderful. All right, guys, stay tuned. We're setting up camp now and, and we might even get a little bit of fishing in. Thanks for tuning into this series. I think it's gonna be a great one. We're gonna be here at least four days. We'll see how it goes. Yeah, I'd say I brought a heavy load, Donnie. What do you think? <laughs> Holy cow. I think you really overdid it this time. Do you think this is like 2,000 pounds in there? I mean, we had about, what, five or six miles to come in yeah. from where we parked. Uh, hilly. It was very hilly and mobile, you know, a few mobiles in it. Yeah. And, uh, yeah, I think we, uh, I think uh, Joey overpacked a little bit here. Yeah. Well... Lesson learned. That's the best way to learn right there. I definitely have a shovel in here somewhere. <laughs> I don't know where. I, I don't think it's too far down. So first thing we're going to get to, we're going to take everything out, set it on the ground. And the first thing we're going to do is shovel off this little bit of snow, lay the flooring down and go from there. Let me get this out of the way. There we go. You brought two augers. I like to bring a backup. Not that we need it. And if anybody joins us, I had a couple buddies that wanted to, really wanted to join us. Yeah. I don't think we beat on any gear getting in, do you? What's that? I don't think we beat on anything. No. Getting in here. No, no. in here somewhere. Oh yeah. Uh -oh, where you Did it hook? Oh, yeah, I brought that rod for you to jig with. Do okay. you recognize it? No, I haven't seen the whole thing yet. You gotta see the bottom. Oh, it broke. It did? Well, it broke in the movie too. Have you ever seen Grumpy Old Man? Oh yeah, right. That's the Green Hornet. Yeah. Oh no. Yeah, we can fix it. We got any uh, tape? Well, we'll pop that bottom out maybe and just put that in as the new bottom. Yeah. Yep, I got the shovel, so I'll start cleaning this area. So your, your sled ran good and towed easy? Yeah, it ran real, real good. Right? Oh, those are your normal ones. <laughs> you know, 
I guess I probably would be classified an old time of class, class of guy, but I can't imagine what they would think of all this gear. Yeah. When they came in with a pack basket and a well, we could do it if chisel. you want. We could do it and if you no, want. No friggin' gear. That would. We right. could we could definitely do it if you want to. <laughs> I'm game. It's too late on this trip. Wow, that's gonna be an awesome flat floor. Yeah. So that was center front door. I got them kind of labeled how they go together. Yeah. I don't know if it completely matters, so. You can feel they're still green. Yeah. What's this one, Donnie? This center and center. Have you ever, ever explained about this box that we made, this Brandon box? Well, just the video of us making it. You've never explained how it got its name? Uh, um, not much really, a little yeah, bit. Yeah. yeah, Brandon was the first guy to make it right. that I know of. And I, I fished with him and saw it and how much you could fit and how, how little stuff you lose out of it. And I was like, yep, I'm sold. <laughs> I'll take one. That's what I was reading wrong. I was, I read it wrong. Yep, center, mid. Okay, so this one's right. This one's wrong. Yes, sir, front door. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Okay. The only reason I have them labeled is I didn't make a, a clean cut on either end yet. Oh, okay. So they wouldn't go together? Yeah. So this was center and it says middle one. Okay. Thank you. And that's the center, so just like this. Boy, when those dry out, that'll help a lot. Yeah, I know it. Man, they, they are heavy. They're pretty green. I originally was going to hinge them. Oh, geez, you'd never get them out of there. No, I was going to hinge them to carry them. Yeah. So we got, we got something right under us there. I might, I'll flatten that after. What a beautiful, what a beautiful day in a beautiful spot. Can you believe this? No, I can't. I mean, honestly, you couldn't order weather like this. So you know what I might do, Donnie, is just push this down. And see if I can get out of these lumps. That's flat enough right there, right? Yeah. Okay. I could actually, I could swap this one with that one. Because it'll, it'll be under my bed. If you just hold this upright. Right. That one's only got one straight edge on it. Is the edge up in the air straight? Uh, looks, looks straight. No, no it isn't. It's not. If, it, if you go by the cleat. 
Oh, I don't, the cleats, he's probably not trustworthy. Yeah, there you go. So that's out where it doesn't oh, matter. Oh, that fits better. Way better. Huh. I put it to the outside. Maybe there's something here. Yeah, it doesn't feel like it. No. Maybe right there where your foot was. Yes. So, this might be my best edge, believe it or not. Okay. How's that edge look? Terrible. Yeah, I did. Yeah, yeah I, I didn't. That wasn't even finished. Yet. I'm sweating. You got it. No, you already got it. Yep. Okay. Just missed this one here. Now, we got to swing it which way? Um, if this is the front door. Yeah, th so this is the front door. So this one, can you pop this one? Yep. There you go. Alright, so I'm gonna pop the roof. Yep. The door's on the back side. Yeah, that's where we want her. Okay. Alright. And then where the two rods somewhere? Yeah, over here. Design of this. Wicked. Wicked. Do I want to bring this over to the edge? Yeah, yep. You sure do. It just barely it just barely hangs off the edge. It's like all those corners. And I'll get the screw gun. So I use this one just because I'm already using the deep freeze quick connector and it just pushes in locks in. That's all? Wow. Yeah. That's easy. Right? It's unreal. What, how warm it is. I'll show the folks at home what the setup looks like. So I haven't trimmed the front yet. I could or I could just leave it. I don't. I don't mind having a little overlap, but that's what she looks like in here. She's pretty good and flat. 
Oh my god, Donnie, it's already warm in here. Is it really? Yeah. Oh wow. This is your home sweet home right yeah. here. Man, this is beautiful. It's not perfectly flat, but it's not bad. No, not at all. No, this is this is great. I bet someday maybe I'll get a bigger one, but it was like four dollars. Yeah. On sale somewhere. Steve, you can't get on away and get on one of these trucks. I know, but that would be incredible, wouldn't it? Heck yeah. Now, which window was it? Oh, oh shoot. Yeah, which window was it? That one. That okay, I that pulled one. the wrong one. You're right. It was that one. The cool thing is we can go either or, right. but you are right. Ah. All right, there's the window Jack Donnie built. Yeah, we have tried it. This camera's right there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we, we tried, we tried it. We had different ideas on how to make the jack going out through. Uh, we bought some welding blanket and thinking we were going to make it out of a welding blanket, but it didn't seem rigid enough to hold the pipe uh, because we're not bracing off the pipe outside. So I came up with this idea to put in the window and we put Velcro around it. I made this with wing nuts so if anybody ever wanted to use it on the opposite side of the tent they should just reverse this boot to this side and it would work so we're going to give it a whirl we we did give it a test run at home uh and it seemed to work great so just like that so that's all there is to it and that boot that's fireproof of course the metal is fireproof and the boot actually supports the pipe so it does a good job all right you've got all the pipes inside yep easy setup on that stove. The pipes store in here for the ride. Oop. Picked up some coals with that one. I brought some coals in by accident. Oh geez. Yeah. You want the blanket to put down underneath it? It's in the truck. Oh, it is? Yeah. Yeah, but we can, it'll be easy enough just to lift it. Yeah, yeah. So this is a straight pipe, so this one's going through. Yeah. And I want the... Oh, uh, nice. See how nice that works? Yeah, we're... Uh, do I have to go... Want me to... Oh, we're good. I mean, you're out far enough. That's perfect. I'll add one more piece of pipe on. Yep. And then the, uh, and then the, one more piece of pipe and the spark arrestor. And then you got a 45 too. Oh yeah. For outside. Yeah. There she is. Wow, that is beautiful. You liking it? I'm loving it. And we could put another piece of pipe on if we need it. I don't think we're going to need it. No. Unless we get a, a heavy wind, then we might want to put it up one more length.
They're talking just 10 to 15 so. But look how well that that uh, boot supports this pipe. I mean, that's very rigid. Of course, they have these ties up here, which you can tie off to different places if the wind is really severe. But that is very rigid. This that's, is rigid. Yeah, it's not going anywhere. I think it's a great, I think it's a great idea myself. And it's easy to make, inexpensive to make. Uh, and we're, the only thing we're doing that we didn't do when we we've tested it at home, it was a warm day similar to today, so it wasn't cold at, you know. But uh, this Velcro has a sticky surface on the back side, so we're really going to test that to see, make sure that that uh, that sticks well to the metal. It seems it's sticking very well now. But we'll see how it does in, in cold. All right, Donnie's first flag on the new traps. Sometimes yeah. you got to let them eat, Donnie, because it's such a big bait. Right. But yeah. Is it off to the? It is off to the side. You could check it if you want. Yeah. Uh, when I came up to it, it, the reel was moving. It was okay. Let's point it towards them. I always like to point it towards. There, yeah, there she goes. See it? Yep. Now this was a great Going big slow. This was a great big half dead shiner that I thought might come back to life. So if he came back to life, he definitely could have tripped it. That's how big the shiner is. But it could be a, a hammer handle pike. Usually the hammer handles make a run on you. What's what's a ham, hammer handle mean? About like a two and a half pounder. Oh, you know, okay. like long skinny like a hammer okay. handle. Yeah, this is the first time I've ever been pike fishing, so I I'll, know nothing about it. I'll, I'll walk you right through it. So what we're going to do, hold on one sec, let me set this up. So we're going to... It's we're still gonna, moving. Yeah, if he's there, he's just sitting there eating. Right. So, so what we're going to do is I'll, I'll grab the trap, and then line management's wicked important. Yeah. So, so you kind of lay it out as you're bringing it in, because he might take all of it back if you've got a big one. Okay. Okay, and I'll kind of work to help you with the reel. Yeah. But I'll pick this up, and you feel for feel for weight. Now, you've got a big shiner. You'll feel a big shiner. But if you feel much for weight, give him a yank. I don't feel much at all. You can keep, all. keep working it back till you might feel something, because a lot of times they swim back. He definitely made a run, because I don't see the rubber band. If you feel it, I don't feel any any. No, nope, you can keep making up ground then. Keep Cause, doing it. Yeah, because you still haven't even got to. There's the, a rubber band coming. Okay, so he hit it, took out five feet. So I'd bring it up. And let's take a look at it. Now I, well, I'm not feeling any weight. Just the bait. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, you can bring it up. Sometimes they'll hit it on the way in. But it could have been a pick roll. It could have been the bait came back to life. I mangled them a little bit. But that's perfect for line management. So uh, pike are wicked runners. They'll make uh, really good long runs. So you'll get them to the hole. And if you don't get their head in right away, you got to let them get, take a run. And you just let it go through your hands. Right. And then you can kind of put drag on them. And then you turn them around, and then they'll come straight in, fight them all the way in. If you don't get them through the hole, he's got to take a run again. Ah. Yeah. They're, they're like streamlined fighters. They don't just do this. Okay. Okay, Donnie, what do you think, bud? I think it smells pretty good with those uh, dogs cooking. And... Sure does. Yeah, it smells nice in here. The onions are getting some caramelized. Yeah. You gotta caramelize it. Yeah. You got a nice setup in here. Bunks and stoves. And... I think a couple things that really make it are the floor and the table. Yeah. Oh yeah, having a table for sure. Yeah. And the, having this wood floor. Oh my gosh. It's, you know, it's you're up off the cold ice and. 
Oh, that really makes it makes it nice. You got the big light stand for yeah. night. Yeah, I got a light that I string on the ceiling too. Oh yeah, that uh, yeah. Yeah. I just haven't done it yet. Yeah. Live here as well as you could at home. That's the truth. Have more fun even. Yeah. Well, we got a couple Lewis and lobsters rolling in the pan right now with some onions. We got eight traps set up for Northern Pike. We left ourselves each one more line. You're allowed five lines in Maine, general rule, generally. And after we eat a hot dog, we might go out and jig for some crappy too, because I think tomorrow night's dinner, we're gonna have some crappy. What are we doing for dinner tonight, Donnie? We're gonna, we're gonna have meatloaf tonight and uh, baked potato and carrots. And we're gonna cook, uh, cook everything in this little stove, <laughs> which, which fits on the burner and uh, is heated by the propane, propane. and it works super. Don't I mean, use I'm, gasoline, it says. <laughs> right, yeah. So that's what we're going to use, nice. and we'll see how it comes out. I'm excited. Yeah, me too. But, you know, I cooked, uh, on our river trip, I cooked some uh, cake in that, so... I know it does work. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Conditions could not be any better. No, not, not for sure. So, we're gonna cook a few donuts one of these mornings. We're here, we're here for what, three nights, I guess, yeah. or four nights, something like that. Yeah. And, uh, and I can't get over how mild this temperature is. Working. For February, it's, it's a complete opposite from the weekend we just experienced. Yeah. So. All right, we're sitting here trying to enjoy a Lewiston lobster. Donnie about got that one drove in yeah. and we got a high flyer down on the point. I suppose it's wind. <laughs> <laughs> it might be. Oh, I don't believe it. Did you put a band on that one? I did not put one on that. I put it on the next one. Oh, the, you know what? Maybe I did. Because the bait is so big, you know, it's mm -hmm. and it's active, it trips the, trips the flag. So I put this rubber band on the bottom. Yep. That prevents it. That's something new I learned. It's a good trick. Well, Wow, it pulled the, this wasn't set way over next to the hole. Uh, no, I turned it oh, so we did. could see the flag. Looks like it's just barely tripped again. This might need a bait band. Yeah. Uh, maybe, I don't know. You see where we were set? Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'll throw a band <laughs> over. Huh. Yeah, I don't think. Yeah. He must be setting it, that fish, huh? Yeah. He was pretty lively a minute ago. Feels like he's still there. Yeah, that wind is something else, isn't it? Yeah. Is that straight north? I don't know. Oh, he got hit. Oh. Look at the size of it. I guess he did. Is he still alive? No. He's dead. 
That's fine by me. Wow. Wow. Why didn't he take them? Well, I get a taste of that metal. Want to set him like he is? Yeah. Yeah. Wow, look at him. Yeah. So we got, we got some around. They're just finicky. He probably died of fright. Yeah, must have been a big, I, must I have been a big I, one. I would have died if I'd have <laughs> seen something come at, come at me like that. <laughs> Scared him to death. Yeah. Well, we're getting snow tomorrow night. Well, Are they, we? They said we're going to get maybe an inch. Yep. Then it, that's probably coming from the northeast. You know. Yeah. We're supposed to get some east tomorrow. Yeah. So a little nor'easter. Yeah. A little tiny nor'easter. Uh, yeah, one inch nor'easter. <laughs> yeah. Florida would be a hell of a blizzard. Oh, it would be, yeah. But I'll scrub definitely. Yeah, it's not doing anything now. <laughs> of course. What yeah. do you think, Donnie? Is this going to be your first bike? Well, it might be, but it, do doesn't, it doesn't look real promising to me, but... Do you want to start with there a little? There she goes. Oh, this could be the bait. No, it's not the bait. Look at the line going off to the side. Could be the bait. Do you want to start with a great big pike or a little one? Oh, anything. Okay, you want to, you want to get them? I I'll, think... I'll hold the trap. I think it might be time. Okay. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Set it. Yep. Got him? Yep. Hit him hard. Oh, he just. Oh, he, just he dropped left. it. He dropped it. I'd hit him harder next time. Oh, he hit it. He did? Yeah. Yeah, he was there. Hey, he'll be back. I pulled pretty hard. Yeah. Yeah, you, you pulled hard enough, probably. Wow. Did he get the bait? Oh, this was the, the plural carbon. Let's throw him. Let's beat him again. Huh. He definitely was there. Stove wound up. Uh, we're up to about 250. I want to be up to about 350, but I just put the... Uh, Potatoes in. Whoa, look at that oven. Baked potatoes in the end. We're gonna have meatloaf over here. I made up last night. So we're gonna cook that. Wow. This is not a meal I usually get while I'm ice fishing. And we got some carrots going too. I don't eat carrots. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're gonna learn to eat them. <laughs> I eat carrots. I love, I love carrots. <laughs> Wow, what a meal we're preparing for here. Oh man. I like this this stove topper that goes just on top of a Coleman stove. Yeah, yeah, it's pretty a... pretty darn cool. I, they don't make them anymore, I don't believe. I've never seen them around. No. This is an old timer, just like me. <laughs> and you you had another one for the silver. Yeah, I, I got a silver one. And for some reason, after a September trip, I have misplaced it. I've looked everywhere for Maybe it. Maybe I have it. I doubt it. I don't think you do. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. But I'll find it. Uh, yeah, I don't even know where to look. Well, guys. Guys, we have not really smashed our heads in today. Super, super weird bite. We got a east wind happening and coming. And there's an old saying in fishing that... Wind blows out of the east, fish bite the least. Wind blows out of the west, fish bite the best. Wind blows out of the south, hit them in the mouth. What rhymes with north? I can't think of anything that rhymes with north. Wind blows out of the north, ride them on a horse. <laughs> that was bad okay so we've had a pile of flags so they're they're like interested if you drop something in front of their faces we had one donnie felt it pull back a little bit and he pulled it out of his mouth we had another steal the bait but other than that 
like the old 10 or 11 flags we've had have just been just kind of hitting runs. They're not even running with it. It's kind of playing with it. So they're not hungry. They're just hitting it because there's a shiner in front of their face or something, something along those lines. So I'm going to leave them out for a little while longer. I'll pick them up at dark. Donnie's got dinner going and uh, yeah, we're going to have an awesome night. I'm really, really, really excited for this uh, oven cooked meal. And I'm also crazy excited to get this wood stove going and test it out for the first time ever. Supposed to be single digits tonight, which is hard to believe because how warm it was, but temps dropping hard and we got some wind blowing in. It's northeast right now and it's supposed to be east-northeast tomorrow. So we got a little nor'east coming in. How's she looking, Donnie? Is she heating up? I'm up to 350. What do you want to be? 350. Okay. So um, I'm going to regulate the uh, Coleman stove to keep it on 350 so looking good so far so good feel free if you Until want we more run out of fuel <laughs> that's true <laughs> feel free if you want more heat to uh you can shut this flap if you want yeah i mean it's yep. comfortable in here okay i think just getting out of the wind's the key right now yeah my daughter darcy made this apple cake with a caramel glazed frosting on it and believe me i've been into it already <laughs> so we got four pieces left over from what i left <laughs> so we're going to enjoy that for dessert there tonight. was five to start right oh six or seven <laughs> <laughs> one thing darcy does everything darcy touches that has an apple oh, involved it, is the yeah. best you've ever had and it's always homemade yeah like yeah. her apple crisp apple sauce right apple what was the other one? She made a jar. Was it apple, apple jalapeno? butter maybe? Oh, yeah. apple butter. Yeah. I got the stove regulated here for 350, and it's been right on 350 for the last 10 minutes. So Good. I think we're golden. So the potatoes will. I'll let them cook for a little bit before I put the uh, meatloaf in, and we'll see how it goes. Great. I'll keep an eye on the traps and finally get that cup of coffee I've been waiting for all day. And there's no snow or slush on the ice and it keeps your track lubricated and it allows your track to throw snow and ice chips up into the heat exchanger too so it's it's for cooling and for lubrication that's why we have scratchers and they have carbide tips and they actually scratch the ice when it's glare ice so yeah and then there's there's my, the rest of my sled right there that is a nine as an expedition se 900 non turbo so that's the one right there it came with this incredible box that i love so much and this is the rest of the gear right here. Got an eye on. Wow, this sky's getting to be amazing. I'm hoping for one more flag, fellas. Donnie, the sky's about to get crazy beautiful. Is it? Yeah, it's like the clouds are starting to get some contrast. Oh, yeah, starting to get some color. Yep. Yeah, perfect. Holy cow. That's going to be gorgeous. Yep, you're not going to want to miss this one. We got almost a full moon tonight. Really? Yeah, it's almost full. Okay. Yep, and if it's not, I can give you so a full. It hasn't gone by full. It did, yeah. Okay, yep. yeah. And if it's not full, I can give you a full moon. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, I'm sure you can. <laughs> yeah. I'd give you a half moon too right. if, you, if you'd rather. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So hopefully there isn't too much cloud cover and we'll be able to see it. It's clearing off pretty good. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I can't believe we're going to have much for clouds because it's said eight, eight degrees tonight and. Yeah. Where we are, it'll be colder. Right. Sleeping on this ice cube. Yeah. Well, I don't see too many flags out there flying <laughs> for eight traps. We got some low flyers today, yeah. but we're just prepping for tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Yep, we're definitely, we're, we're getting prepped for tomorrow. Tomorrow's going to be a good day for us. Pike, Definitely, I've done way better early and midday than I have late. We didn't get set up till after midday today, so any pike in the afternoon is a bonus. But that, you really want to be ready for that 9 to 10 o'clock range. That's usually when stuff really happens with the big girls. But, oh, my God, look at this guy. There's a bald eagle flying over there. He's just waiting for us to leave him a piece of bait. 
I want you to just look at the inside of the tent. You got the string of lights up. Looks like a nightclub in here. <laughs> the only thing we're missing is the dancing girls. And what time are they coming? Oh, uh, they're in? coming at ten. Ten o'clock tonight. Yeah. Jeez, they're gonna have to wake me up. Me too. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, That's <dear>. funny. <laughs> Yeah, that picked up. <laughs> oh. I think she's going. Looking pretty good in there. Then we'll cut it. Supper ready? Supper's ready, I hope. I know the potatoes are done. That's pretty good. Nice baked potatoes. Oh man. I don't ever remember having that winter camping. I feel good. We're we're in a little bit different class of food when Donnie comes. And got the meat loaf. Hopefully that. Oh my that goodness. Done. Yeah, she's uh she's boiling. Oh. Carrots are on top. You can scoop those out when you're ready. Hopefully it's done in the middle. That's what I was worried about. I like it medium rare. Well that's what you might get. Or a fork? <laughs> Uh, you hold the plate, please. Holy cow, that's a lot. That looks amazing. That looks great. Oh, it's well done. I mean, yeah. it's it's done. It's done. Probably too well. All done with that little oven. Look at that simmering, smoking. Isn't that amazing? Yep. It looks pretty amazing. Do you see me? What are you putting in your meatloaf, Donnie? Uh, I break up bread, and and a lot of times I'll put cracker crumbs or bread crumbs in it, and onion, ketchup, and that's about it. And then I put some ketchup on top when I cook it. Nice. So hopefully it'll taste okay. Pretty not bad. Did you get your carrots? Not yet. Doesn't that look good? Uh, it looks beyond good. Looks amazing. If it's half as good as it smells, we got a winner. I know, even though it might not be good, you're going to say it's good. <laughs> That's tastes, not true. Tastes like. <laughs> That's not true. <laughs> I'd, I would let you know. <laughs> How's this little stove doing? I think it's cranking. Yeah. The fan's cranking. Yeah. It's only been a couple minutes. Well, I cooked these potatoes about just the... These are quite big potatoes, too. Mmm. I cooked them about an hour and ten minutes. Wow. So... And they... Yeah, they seem to be cooked just fine. Hey, how could life be any better than this? This is it right uh, here. For me it is. This is it right here. This is awesome. Oh yeah, we had a beautiful day today. Probably in the 40s, I would say. Oh. And, I mean, 
it was shirt sleeve weather out there for a while. Now you can hear the wind whistling in the top of the trees, so the weather's changing tonight for sure. Yeah. Now I'd say, well, they, they're talking single digits, so I don't know what it'll be, but yeah. it's going to be low. We might flirt with zero. It'll be interesting. Really interested to see how this new wood stove does. And really, really interested to to see how cold it gets or how hot it gets in here too. So we'll regulate it the best we can. Donnie, that is great. You like great? great meatloaf. Great. That's up here to kill the taste if you want it. Oh, it's great. Made Joey a special gift, and I grew up with one of these. We had one in our household all the time, and it's called a boot jack. And it's a simple, simply made thing, but works like a million bucks. If you're taking off rubber boots, you step one foot on here, you wedge the other boot in here, and it pulls the heel, pulls the boot right off. So you're not, you know, rubber boots sometimes get pretty difficult to take off alone. And that works just awesome. I like it. Yeah. Thank you. It's light, easy to transport, so. Heck yeah. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Wicked nice. Isn't that nice? Well, guys, that is going to do it for today. An absolutely great day that flew by. i um, been sitting next to this wood stove right here, heated up, and, and just thinking how grateful I am for the things that I have and the people that I have, even more importantly, in my life. Donnie being a major part of that. We had an awesome day today, no fish topside. We kind of got here late, the fishing wasn't great this afternoon. It might not be great tomorrow, but the cool thing is with us being here three or four days, they're gonna chew. It doesn't matter. It, right. it doesn't matter either, we're having fun camping, but they're gonna chew one of these days. But no, I was definitely thinking how grateful I am for, for everything, how happy I am here. And this is absolute life right here, loving it. And I'm excited for tomorrow already. We're gonna, we both got full bellies now. We're gonna get up in the morning, probably pretty early, and drive some coffee into us, big breakfast at some point. And we're gonna set some traps and catch some pike. And we're definitely gonna jig some panfish tomorrow so we can do a shore lunch, David Dudley style. Cause look at this, guys. Look what I found. You're never gonna believe this, but he left his secret seasoning. We're gonna use some, and then Donnie and I are gonna reverse engineer this to find out what's in it. If David doesn't tell us, we're going to reverse engineer it. David, if you're watching this, I have your secret spice jar here. You have to come get it or else I'm going to share this with the world. Come back. <laughs> Donnie, what do you think, bud? I think I'm going to take my pants off and crawl into the sack. You got it. I'll, I'll cover it. <laughs> you won't see anything. I, I got my long underwear on. Oh, I'm nice. going to bed with my just what I got on my top, and and uh, when that fire goes low tonight, I'm sure there'll be a chill in here. How are you feeling about the wood stove? Oh, it's working great right now. Yeah, it's cranking. I mean, it's cranking. Yeah. Really, really doing well. Oh, that's a great little. Uh, a great little thing to have in a tent, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm super stoked. That window jack worked perfectly that Donnie made. and Yeah, so next time you see us, it'll, it'll be morning. Thanks for tuning in, guys. We're really excited to bring you this series and, and uh, bring you along. We're having a blast, so hopefully you guys see that in our video, and hopefully you get a yeah. chance to do something like this yourself someday. Yeah, so we'll see you in the morning. <laughs>